I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra-large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Knifeerella. I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But, too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. It's true. I did end up dying the last time. I I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I... I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! Man. They hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game. So it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over-predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules like, don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Like I said, it's easy. <sighs> it's just a game, after all. Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. Hmm. Man, so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. 
Is that what you want? Not to go back? Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> so cool! I'm drooling! So, so much! I'm drooling! I can't stop my leaking! Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means, you must respect my authority. Ugh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Who? Little old me? That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I could play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete! That's Operation Junkify All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah! Our dreams are expanding and... Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. <laughs> Chump change. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enishima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me. Dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Oh, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brain melt. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair! But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. But ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped, can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. The goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? No, no, there's no way such a convenient... Huh? There is? Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. 
You cannot activate the shutdown. More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? What? I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. I'll <laughs> be treated like even bigger chumps. That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or... Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is, like, really nasty. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world, and in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world, too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived, and the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win? Or will my despair win? Alright! Things are starting to heat up! Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. Only cause it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. Ding ding ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. That's why you guys are chumps. 
You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program to provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. Ah, uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair! Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious! You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair! You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious! If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Oh, that's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. Yes! I, I was totally waiting for a protagonistic line like that. When I crush it with despair, set to ecstasy. <gasps> Ah, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the Mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the Mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Oh well. Let's bring them out with lots of energy! It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. <sighs> we thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Already? If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. Good news, Hajime! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate hope! It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was Hajime, who stands before you now. Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. And, after many shabrages, 
Hajime Hinata was transformed into... Izuru 1.0! Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. He'll disappear. All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> And can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? And which is true despair? Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez, once again this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. 
but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever. And ever 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 and ever. They're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking reached. Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Let's finish this already. There's no need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. If you do that, this game is going to continue forever. If you don't want that, just turn off the game. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this all of a sudden? What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else! Huh? S seriously? That's a suicidal decision! You... you all... Why? Why? How... how can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Huh? Th that's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! <gasps> what is this?! <laughs> Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's... Too sad, you know? But I guess... I no longer... I no longer have to... <laughs> hope for despair. Is... Just... So... Hopeless... I don't want anything! I don't want to lose anything! The future is full of lies. You have no argument. There's no hope. Any choice is despair. The future will make you suffer. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. Izuru! You're not hope! What is this crappy feeling? <laughs> you won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. <laughs>